we shower with it, <laughs> we go to the bathroom with it, we wash our dishes with it, and I think we waste it a lot. Here in Russia, we don't realize that it is wasted. In India, people like misuse water. For Africa, water is a challenge. Sometimes because it's not there, it's in the areas without too much water. And in other areas, it's there, but the management is not there. We have to create conscience in each house, in each company, of the use of water. Uh, there are ways in agriculture, for example, to make sure you're maximizing the use of the little water that's available. <laughs> There seems to be a bit of a melancholic, a bit of a negative uh, uh, feel to it. We, we all acknowledge the importance of water, but also that something's really wrong with the way we use it, the way we waste it, the way we manage it. 92% is actually in agriculture and the remaining 8% is roughly equally shared between industry and domestic use. Telling people, telling companies what their water footprint is makes them more aware of how dependent they are of water as, a, as an input to well, actually make their lives uh, uh, happen, to make sure that we can buy the stuff that we buy and eat the food that we eat and wear the clothes that we, uh, that we wear. Maybe starting at home, where we as consumers or water users use washing for cooking, for cleaning, for, for bathing. In agriculture, what, what mainly farmers can do is, first of all, make sure that they grow the right crops for the right environment that they are in. And if they do that, they do it in the best means possible in terms of water use. So that comes down mainly to the way they irrigate their crops, what kind of techniques, what kind of strategies they use to, uh, uh, to grow these crops. For industry, it mostly has to do with water pollution, because pollution is, is very much associated with the water use in, uh, in, in industry. So there it is very much about avoiding waste or recycling or, or cleaning the residue and make sure that there's not much water that is polluted flowing into the water systems after you use it in a factory. We are not going to run out of water because the hydrologic cycle is a loop. We will always have uh, uh, fresh water to our avail, but that does not mean that there is enough water sustainably available to meet our ever-growing demand. And with growing populations, with us ever becoming richer, uh, with uh, dietary change, because if people get richer, they generally eat more animal products in their diets, which are more water intensive, and climate change. These are all drivers that will skyrocket our water demand. So no, we will not run out of water, but we will not have enough available to meet our demand. So in your own sphere of influence, you can become a bit more aware about your own water footprint. Where do I use water? Where do I pollute water? And are there some water intensive products that I maybe can replace in my lifestyle? Uh, because that's really where the difference is made. When you do your grocery shopping, when you buy your clothes, when you buy the products that you use.